Huh. Huh. Well, here we are, my treasure. The very top of the mountain that the Sky Palace was built into. It's called the Snowcap Spire. For obvious reasons. Huh. Lucky for you, it's a rather warm day. And... I happen to know a little spot that was built by pilgrims for when they wanted to stay back when this was considered a reverent spot. Nowadays, not many dragons fly up here. But me? Eh, I sort of turned it into a little, uh, man cave. <laughs> Coming up here helps me think. Clears my head. Gives me a good mindset to make decisions as king. Decisions that impact the fate of my people. The future of my home. The lives of every dragon under my care. I trained my entire childhood to one day be a great leader. A leader as great as my father, my grandfather, or any and all of my ancestors that lead all the way back to the first dragon, Sindeverus. That's why I came back up here. To think. Evidently, as the tale goes, when he drew his final breath, all of his many children and their children brought his ashes up here to be scattered in the winds of the sky. He wanted it that way. He saw burial of the dead as a human design, so he wanted no part in it. He wanted to be scattered where he spent most of his life, soaring the heavens. From the fire he came, and to the fire he returned. And they say, his soul of fire still soars the skies above the kingdom he built with his life. Not that I've seen him up here or anything, but I feel like, when I come up here to think, he lends me his wisdom and guides my path as king over his children. Over his many, 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 many children. <laughs> yeah. He was the only dragon to exist in his time, so how do you think there are so many of us nowadays? He single-handedly fathered all of dragonkind, just to spite man and divine alike. <laughs> the man had a crap ton of wives. <laughs> And, when his time passed, many of his children's children, and, and their children, for generations have come down here to pay reverence to the man who brought them life and a little bit of happiness in this world of turmoil and hatred. But, these days, I'm one of the only few who still visits up here to seek guidance from my forefather. Perhaps even my father may be up here somewhere, too. <laughs> I wonder if he knew about the whole Bryn thing. He's probably laughing his ass off knowing that we'd find out one day. <laughs> hmm. But, yeah. Now you get to see another special place to me. Just thought that I'd show you some of the things that made me the dragon I am today. And, even though Sindeferis wasn't a fan of humans, something tells me he would make the same exception I have for you, if he were to meet you in his time. <laughs> well, it's cause you're a special person, and not just to me. In general, you are different. Perhaps it's the twinkle in your eye. Every time you learn more about dragons. Maybe the smile on your face every time I call your name. Maybe even the gentle touch that is able to tame and calm even the most fearsome of wild beasts. 
or maybe, just maybe, it might be the taste of your lips that leaves a king of dragons speechless in utter bliss.